All right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to another great session with the presidential candidate of the fictional Common Sense People's Party. I must start by saying a very big thank you to all those who have subscribed to my new YouTube channel called Mr. Benjamin. God bless you for your great support. And please, in case you haven't seen any of my videos asking for subscribers on uh, my new entertainment and comedy channel called Mr. Benjamin, here is one. And please, please, please do subscribe. Now, let's get straight into politics. What do you expect from an administration that has a faulty foundation? And in the words of His Excellency Peter Obi, you cannot come in through the window and claim you want to clean the house. When INEC, APC and Judiciary carried out that abomination last year, it was obvious that this country was in for some of the worst times since it came into existence. Because absolute power had been snatched by some of the greediest and the most self-centered Nigerians alive. People who believe that this country revolves around them. And when they make appointments, they appoint people like themselves. And that is why in the face of mourning, in the face of weeping and gnashing of teeth, the chief of defense staff made a blunder. A blunder that exposed who these people really are and the things that they care about as we speak Thousands of Nigerians are reacting to that blunder, one that further proves to Nigerians who are still sentimental towards the APC that that political party and all that is associated with them only exists to satisfy their own greed and self-interest. Before I show you that blunder from the defense chief and how Nigerians reacted, let me quickly show you this hilarious description of Tinubu's New Year speech by Senator Sheusani. Look at how the papers reported it. Tinubu's New Year speech is like native doctor's words of hope to sick man, Sheu Sani. A former federal lawmaker, Sheu Sani, has described President Bola Tinubu's New Year speech as a native doctor's words of hope to a sick person. Addressing the nation on Monday, Tinubu, among other things, announced plans to ensure a constant supply of affordable food to Nigerians. He also announced plans to provide Nigerians with reliable power supply as well as petroleum products. According to him, his administration is working hard to alleviate the suffering of Nigerians. Reacting to the speech, Sani, a former senator who represented Kaduna Central Senatorial District in the 8th Assembly, noted that the president did not set any time for any of the promises to take effect. He said, The president's speech is good and encouraging. It gives the kind of hope raised by native doctors that you will be delivered from your sickness, but no date. <laughs> and look at how Nigerians reacted. Look at some of the tweet reactions. This tweet says, Leadership is not by power, not by it is my turn. If you don't have that discipline of a leader in you, you can never get it right leading. Imagine a graduate who took part in malpractice all his life, assumed the position of a bank manager. How do you think that bank will fare? That is simple. If you get in through the wrong way, you will only produce wrong results. And this tweet by Crowther says, best description, the president's speech is good and encouraging. It gives the kind of hope raised by native doctors that you will be delivered from your sickness but no date. Last, last, he said nothing. Scammers. Oh! Now, if there is an area that the APC as a party specializes in, it is in giving people false hope. But at this point, anyone who still believes anything that proceeds out of the mouth of an APC member, I don't think that person is a normal person. Because these people have lied and lied. They lied their way to power in 2015. Lied all through the eight years of Buhari. And now they are lying on that. So I see no reason why any normal Nigerian should believe them. And that New Year speech couldn't have been described any better than a native doctor's hope to a sick person. Now, let us look at the words of the chief of defense that did not sit well with well-meaning Nigerians. Look at how the papers reported it. Plateau Christmas Eve massacre carried out to embarrass make Tinubu's government look stupid. Defense chief. 
The defense headquarters has said the Christmas Eve attacks across communities in Plateau State that left close to 200 dead, many injured, and many displaced were planned to embarrass and make the federal government look stupid. The killings marked the seventh month of Mr. Tinubu's assumption of office as president. The shocking incident that occurred in Boko's Barking Ladi was quite unfortunate. There was no reason for the attack, the chief of defense staff, General Christopher Musa, said in an interview with Channels TV on Monday. He said, I think the purpose is to embarrass everybody and to make the government look stupid. Mr. Musa added that Nigerian military was making some arrests connected to the Plateau Christmas Eve killings and explained the military's delayed response to the distress call from the attacked villages. Last week, Monday, People's Gazette reported that over 112 were killed and 47 injured as armed headsmen in coordinated attacks wreaked havoc on at least 12 communities spanning Barkin Ladi and Boko's council areas on Christmas Eve. But the number of casualties has increased to over 195 since then as more bodies were recovered. In his New Year message, Mr. Tinubu left out the Christmas Eve attack in Plateau, claiming that security had improved since he assumed office in May. However, Amnesty International condemned the attacks, berating Mr. Tinubu for failing to protect communities in the state and Nigeria at large. You heard that. In his New Year message, he removed, he ignored the Christmas Eve attack. And now the chief of defense staff is coming out to say that the attack was done to embarrass him. He said there was no reason for the attack. And I ask, do terrorists have any other reason for attacking people? He speaks like he's not aware that Nigeria is battling insecurity. He said they attacked those villages to embarrass the president. Now, not only is that statement insensitive, it also seeks to twist the narrative. What happened was not merely done to embarrass the pre president. It was an act of terrorism. And this isn't the first time we are witnessing it. And look at how Nigerians reacted. Look at some of the tweet reactions. This tweet says, and it is what it is, losing over 150 lives. And you are only bothered about who is embarrassed or made to look stupid. That is it. So pathetic. This shows you where their interest lies. And this tweet here says, rubbish. What manner of people are in the helm of affairs in Nigeria? Imagine a CDS making such shameless statement. Nigerians, save yourselves. Waiting upon these people is waiting upon Golgotha. Mm. And this tweet by Queen B says, you should be ashamed of not just yourself, but your institution. Number one, where is your intelligence gathering? Number two, were you supposed to allow them to kill the innocent? Number three, why haven't you arrested the perpetrators many days after the act? Number four, so many whys, building on a faulty foundation. Oh! Now, in other news, obedience are doing a great job for me on my new YouTube channel called Mr. Benjamin. Please, in case you are watching and you haven't seen any of the videos where I introduced my new YouTube channel, thank God you are seeing this now. Like I said, the new channel is called Mr. Benjamin. That is it. That's a picture of it. On your screen it's an entertainment and comedy channel this channel ben jokes will remain and i'll continue to dish out my obonga political news but i'm also a comedian and i would love to keep that part of me alive so it is me pouring out myself pouring out everything that i've got to you my audience and i ask that you support me on that channel as you did on this one already many have subscribed and if you haven't please 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 do so help a brother help a brother please there's a link to the channel in the comment section or just type mr benjamin in your youtube search click on my picture then subscribe and i know you know that subscription is absolutely free as for the problems of nigeria i don't they talk them we will never be able to solve these problems unless we get the apc out of power but until then <laughs> Make I still enter town. Make I go get some Ogbonga political news. Where will I go like? Why? Because now because of Una. Now I day here. So don't go away. Go to Mr. Benjamin and subscribe.